In this episode of U-Boat, U410 has been tasked to patrol from grid AM88 to BF24 on the western approaches and travel 1,340 nautical miles inside the patrol area. U410 will travel through the English Channel in order to save fuel and time to their patrol area. Welcome back, friends, and welcome to episode three of U-Boat, of our campaign with U-410. Uh, we are on just a standard patrol today. Uh, we are going to do more work on the tonnage war, and our patrol area is over just south of Ireland. And just to save time and fuel, we are not going to go north around England, we are going to go through the English Channel. Uh, so that's going to be the tricky part. Uh, some more updates uh, for what I have been doing is I have been practicing more on a second campaign, uh, learning more of the details, uh, getting a little bit better with my torpedo shot. Still not the greatest. Uh, I haven't done all the work with the TDC, I'm going to be working on learning how to do that uh, soon, uh, but I uh, spent a good... I do love the little banter uh, that comes out from the crew. Ah, but anyway, I have been doing a little bit of sailing around uh, just to learn more of the game, more of the torpedo shots. Getting pretty decent. Probably hit things about 50% of the time, so hopefully on this sail uh, I can do some good, good stuff. So, uh, I'm going to continue on, and if there's anything of note, I will bring you back uh, and see where we can go. So, carry on. Welcome back. We have reached our patrol area and we are now tasked to travel just over 1300 nautical miles and sink 10,000 tons of registered tonnage. We are doing a hydrophone check now and we're going to see what we got here. Uh, it's currently 9 o'clock in the morning. Let's just speed this up a little bit so they get under the water and see if we can hear anything. Which I don't think we can. That's okay. Nope, I think we're pretty good. So we're going to speed up a little time over here, and we were going to keep bouncing back and forth, and if we get anything of note, we will bring you back. Welcome back. We are currently in a thunderstorm, middle of the night, about four o'clock, and I wanted to show you uh, one of the features of the game. So we are currently running with red, or sorry, white light, and this is our view of range here. But if we switch to red light, you can see that in the dark we get a 15% bonus in range. So let's actually slick to night lights. Speed it up a little bit. You can see how much more vision at night you get. So if you're playing this game, lighting matters. It's not just for the aesthetics. It actually does have some bonuses. Uh, so if you are uh, 
have some contacts. Blue light will bring your uh, noise down and will actually reduce your oxygen. It's designed to have your crew uh, warning to know to not... Uh, it's kind of like a silent running, but not really. For silent running, you won't get to features of torpedo loading, echo sounder, and certain equipment. Uh, I just wanted to show you that, uh, just so you can kind of have an idea of what those features do in the game. So, probably going to notice uh, in the last little clip there, is we have some officers to upgrade. We have three to upgrade, so let's do that right now. So here is our mechanic. We have one mechanic and one chief engineer. Uh, so we are going to focus the mechanic for more loading. Uh, so let's go on some faster torpedo loading. Uh, didn't look. Yeah, we have one here. This is our chief engineer. Uh, so let's do things like... This one's really good. So if you need to board a merchant ship, you need to sink it, you don't need explosive. This will allow you to scuttle the ship uh, as well. And did I get it right? Yeah, ooh, two points. This is our chief bosun mate. So this is our second officer. So let's work on navigation and supporter. We'll get that done. There we go. That is how you uh, increase uh, your skills for your officers. Yeah, a little fun there. Thank you for tuning in that one. Uh, we'll continue our patrol. Uh, we're just heading up north, and we'll see what we can get into, and I'll bring you back when something interesting happens. So we've just started our hydrophone dive, and right behind us, we have a convoy picked up, closing in. Hopefully, it's not a group of warships. But let's investigate. It's an ultra course. <clears throat> Let's move in. It's around noon. Should be able to spot these guys pretty good. So let's let's get up on the surface and see what we can find. All right, see what we can see from the bridge. Starting to rain again, which is good for us. Oh, helps if I probably actually look in the right direction. There we go. What do we got? What do we got? Those look to be warships. It's not what we're looking for. So let's head. Let's head south. Well, that was not as fun as I wanted it to be, but that's okay. We'll move down to the bottom of the square here, and we will do another hydrophone check. And that's that group. Yeah, it's that same group. I 
think we're good. I think we have nothing else that we can. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's probably a tanker. Let's close in. All right. I'm gonna cut here, and once we get closer. We have just taken up alarm because we have a freighter bearing 335. And we are going to adjust our course because we want to do a torpedo attack on this. Let's report our ship spotted. Cancel the alarm. Stop all engines, and we are going to wait here. There we go. All right. Where are we here? Let's get to our target. I swear I know how to use a pair of pinos. <laughs> there we go. Let's lock on here. So I don't know if it's a type of the year in the game, but everyone is pretty much only like two types of tankers. I don't know if that's just uh, what was available at that time of year in the war, or if that's just part of the game. Uh, I hope it's just part of the game, or at least they plan, oh, I should start that a little soon, I'll start that a little early. But yeah, there's only like two ships that I really see for merchants. There's a lot of more warships, but that just could be, there's not a lot of stuff that's been added yet, but that's okay. Big wave. Set five knots. Our angle on the bow is going to be 90 degrees when we launch. Distance uh, about there. Six thousand meters. We need to close. Well, that's <laughs> we don't need to close because it's going to be. About there. All right. All of our torpedoes were maintained. We are good. Let's lay and wait for the perfect shot. We are almost ready for our attack, so we're going to redo our calculations. 3,000 meter. That, uh, let's trust that one. Let's go back again here. Let's try it again. That's a little bit better. Confirm our speed. Definitely is not going very fast. Five knots. 
All right, angle on bow is going to be here. Set. You're getting ready for this shot. You wait until it is about lined up at 90 degrees. Perfectly lined up here. We only need one. Ready? Los. All right. Let's watch our hard to come in. So that's a pretty good distance over there. You can see it. Oh, let's get rid of that. And you can even follow. Oh, the torpedo as it sails in. That's pretty cool. to speed up a little bit here because it takes forever. Check our line. Should be doing good. Very good. Sorry for the rapid speed there. Probably zoom out a little bit. Oh, are we gonna miss? Are we gonna miss? We might miss. Yeah, we're gonna miss. Pretty sure we're gonna miss. Well, maybe. No, we're definitely a miss. Definitely a miss. All right. Try one more here. Now we'll see. If not, we'll take her with guns. Let's recalculate. Might be an issue. We're wasting a lot of torpedoes here. I don't care. There we go. It's a really expensive torpedo. Or target we're getting here. Ah, close this. I want this. Do that. We're gonna miss again, aren't we? It is a miss! Oh my god. Well, this is absolutely embarrassing. Man the gun.
What am I trying to do here? This, yeah. Let's not have you engage yet. We're going to see if we can get them into abandoned ship for now. To make this a little, a little easier. Speed up a little bit. Make this view a lot easier on the eyes. Oh man, I can't believe I missed three torpedoes. Yes, they're gonna see us. That's the point. Slow ahead. Bay attempt to be communicated with. Communicate, we tend to sink the ship. As your crew sends the lights, the crew is leaving the deck. Excellent. I'll stop. stop. Oh, man, it's wavy. So we can get a oh, little, actually a little, a little closer this way. She's going, she's starting to go down. Should be, we'll check it there. Yeah, she's going down. There you go, made it really easy to us. Five rounds. Nope, don't fire. Don't fire. So we're most watching down here. Ah, I can move those. There we go. Yeah, because I want to move this. Whoop, cancel. Right there, so I can have both. Excellent. Let's stand down alarm. We are. Scared of dick gun. And continue on with our patrol. All right. Uh, so, yeah, I'll bring you back when we have other events. Oh, nope. All right, we have a second attempt at redemption here. We have a new freighter. Uh, we didn't travel very far. Uh, we just, our last sinking was here. It was sailed south and picked it up coming up again to the north. So we are going to see if we can actually hit a target here. Because that would be nice to actually do. And we're going to again wait for us at the 90 degrees. Quickly recalculate. It's about here.
three thousand yards. That makes no sense. Does that make sense? I guess it makes sense. That's weird. Angle on bow. About that. Set. Also, oh, definitely going a lot faster, which is good. Nuts. All right. Let's... Here we go. And fire. Let's see how lucky we can do today. Am I doing wrong today? I really must be getting wrong on the distance here. Like, come on. Go to the math right here. It's not too many miles away. 40 Sekunden bis Torpedo Einschlag. This is embarrassing. <laughs> All right. One more. Start moving this way. Locked on to our torpedo. Close that. Close that. There we go. Let's get this big kaboom. There we go. She is going down. On fire. An alarm. Alright, I think I know my problem. I think I know my problem. Is I was going to hear and not here. I should also probably use the height on this, because I was going to the flag. But I should really go to the top of that mast there. That's what I should be doing. Because that will make it a lot farther away than it is from that angle. Aha. So let's go to the center of the mast. See? Your captain's learning. Your captain's learning. Takes me a minute. <coughs> Does take me a minute. ship here is being a little bit stubborn 
They are not wanting to go down very quickly. So we are going to get on the duck gun. And we are going to put some holes into the back side. Or front side, I guess, of the ship to encourage her to go down. Just to get some flooding on this end of the ship. Oh, I hope that penetrated. Fire on board. Right in the bow. There we got should be enough. Secure the gut gun. Oh yeah, she is she's going down. They're sinking. I'll get our Whoop. Nope. Come on. <laughs> I don't want you on a torpedo calculator. That's not what I want. I want that. So I can send that. And let's get ready to go back south. All right, we are almost to our tonnage, which is good. So one more ship and we should be there. And I will bring you back when we find one. So we just did a hydrophone check. We are tracking this one for about 100 nautical miles and we have other ones around us. So we have a lot of good contacts. We have here, which we've been hunting. We went all the way down here. We were doing this path, found it, and finally intercepted it and are just a little bit ahead of it. So we are gonna go after this one and then we'll see maybe this one after that because this one's closing in so stay tuned and we will all right we have a tanker that we have tracked down. Let's lock onto here. Ooh. You are Dale class. That is that is a big ship. That is more than what we need. Oh, perfect. Perfect approach. Send that report. Let's just get to a better position here. Let's stop. Alle Maschinen, stop. Do some calculations. Oof. Man, it is way B again. Seas have been rough. Seas have been rough. But that's okay. This would be a great prize. 12,000 
tons of displacement. Ooh, and right there. All right, let's get into a good firing position. Well, this ship is a little bit taller and is able to see us. So we're going to do a two spread. We're going to need to fire soon. Let's flood these tubes. Fire. Quick calculation again. Distance. Set and on bow there. Fire. What's this? Visibility, yes, we are visible. All right, let's hopefully. Oh my Atlanta, I cannot shoot worth anything today. Just got a better speed reading here. Well, if you made it this far, I bear, thank you for bearing with me on my absolutely horrible torpedo attacks today. This is not a good record. I have been practicing. It does not look like it. After this attack, we're going to have to see what we have left in the stores for torpedoes. Five knots, that's why she slowed right down distance there. Get our angle on. Fire. Halbe Fahrt voraus. That looks better. That looks a lot better. All right. 40 Sekunden bis Torpedo einschlagen. Get rid of these. Watch our impact. Get out of the way, wave. There we go. Perfect. Right in the bow. Second one. Excellent. There we go. She is going down here we go objective complete perfect so let's let's send those off to BDU that we've sunk and we've completed our patrols while that's happening let's take a check in our stores of what we have left for torpedoes we have three in the bow. Why do we need to do that? All right, let's uh, let's do that. Let's go to alarm. Now 
let's shift, put you to... Where's our engineer? See, we get to do, uh... Some damage control. Make sure that everything's tickety-boo. We have a report. We want to do inspections. So we'll get that done, and we'll bring you back when we are ready. Or not when we're ready. We're going to try and do one more torpedo attack. We have about five more fish to go uh, before we head back to port. So let's use those up. I'll bring you back. We found our next prize, another tanker, and we are going to attempt, just for practice, a submerged attack, so I can get nice and close. Let's dive the boat, get ready for our submerged attack. We have three fish on the front, and after this we are going to start heading back port, a little coffee there, uh, because it's definitely, we've been out sea for, how long has it been? It's not showing us here, that's okay. Alright, so let's get where we want. That should be... about there. We'll close the gap just a little bit more and then we will cancel. Get ready for... We are back. Let's lock on to our target here. Come on. There we go. Recognize Empire Bell. Let's get our velocity here. Oop. I was wrong. <laughs> One hundred and ninety six knots. She's a bird. Up. It's very high seas, which is really. There we go, eight knots. Angle on bow is going to be 10 degrees. Distance <laughs> uh, let's, let's, let's listen to that really quickly, see what we can hear. Explosion actually, that'd be kind of cool. Then 
seconds. Oh. My lantern. All right. We need to go back to torpedo school. Aktualisieren. Entfernung zum Ziel. Eins, null, vier, sechs Meter. Fire these both. This is it's quite embarrassing. Alright, let's get back. <laughs> That's cool. All right. Well, we're gonna call this the uh, most embarrassing torpedo attacks in history, because that was. That was awful. Uh, so I head back in the port and uh, explain how we lost so many torpedoes to the BDU. Well, we have made it back to the last port of our, of our journey back. It's very uneventful. And we <laughs> we didn't really have too much to defend ourselves. Only two in the uh, stern tubes. But we did start working towards our Knight's Cross. Luckily... Uh, headquarters wasn't too uh, concerned about the torpedoes we wasted. We got a couple uh, good hits, which was all they really cared about. And we sunk the Empire Crystal, registered in Great Britain, carrying raw resources from Liverpool to Boston. Empire Manor, registered of Great Britain, transporting utilities to Halifax from Halifax to Liverpool. Our tanker carrying oil from Halifax to Liverpool. That was a great prize. Almost 12,000 tons. That was our required tonnage right there in one ship. And the Empire Centaur. Registered in Great Britain, carrying utilities from Liverpool to Boston. Well, that concludes this patrol. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, I'm very embarrassed uh, for <laughs> our torpedo attacks, uh, but we will uh, do some more training, get some better at it, and we're we'll working on some uh, TDC drills as well. Uh, so hopefully that will also clear up our accuracy. So thank you for tuning in, and until next time.